I am so very lucky uh, this afternoon as we go to the hyenas who are now busy suckling their calves. And let me tell you something, a very odd welcome took place here. We were welcomed by a very distinctive smell, which was like a carcass, a dried carcass. And still we can pick it up. It's showing me that these hyenas has been feeding on some of the dead animals, the carrions somewhere uh, around this field. So you can see the little ones are suckling. Hyenas are one of those scav scavengers, but sometimes they also kill their own prey. These animals are so intelligent, and most of their diet is consisted of their own kill. Look at that. They can smell from very far, and they do rely on their sense of smell, and it works well. Look at this very nice uh, body build which allows them to go very long distances, up to five kilometers until the animal is tired, then they take it, they take the animal down. They have got very strong strength. So they need a lot of energy. It's amazing to see that these little ones can suckle up to 18 months. That is unusual for the predators. So even if the mother is not coming back very often to the den, the milk they are drinking now has got quite a lot of fat content and they can keep the little ones much going for quite a long time. So where these uh, little ones are staying is by this very big termite mound next to us where we have witnessed the kind of predators such as leopards digging and wanting to get hold of warthogs. He's telling you if the leopards picks it up or the wild dogs picks the little ones in here, they will go down and try to get hold of them. Hyenas are intelligent. Let me tell you why. We have seen here in Juma uh, on several occasions hyenas moving their little ones from one place to the next. Uh, they, leave, they have to leave the dens very often. Once they start, the dead starts to develop the scent, they don't like it because they know the scent can inform the other big predators that they've got the cubs hiding there. And also they consider the fl flies as well as the fleas infestations. The fleas infestation in there is also what determines the, them to leave the hole to go and look for the next one. So it's all about the safety of their cubs. So these little ones, they are going to be with this family, but when they are matured enough, the males will have to be kicked out. And when they're kicked out, some of them, they can be solitary, but some of them will then go and join the other clans in the surrounding. And when joining other clans, <laughs> something interesting there is taking place. They don't get approved to join a clan by the males there. The males on the other side don't have any say. As usual, you know by the hyenas, males, they are very much low rank. So the females is the one that are on high ranks. So males, they are on low ranks. So when the male is leaving this clan to the other clan, it can be he can be approved by the female there to be part of. So he cannot go there like the lions to go and fight for the dominance and take over. It doesn't work like that. Here, the girl power rules. Oh, look at that very nice black tail there. So now, let's go back to Taylor and hear how her search is going. So you can see that I'm still here and we are just seeing these very strong social bonds which is created by the females holding their babies after drinking. Look at that. So this is amazing. So the little ones are just lying down there and the mothers are also lying down, no problem. And they're all holding their babies. So hyenas are not like wild dogs, you know. Wild dogs, they go out for feeding purposes. When they come back to these uh, den sites, they vomit what they have eaten. They regurgitate what they have eaten in order to share with the little ones. Here, by the hyenas, is different. Hyenas, they go and they bring back the food back to the, uh, to the den, which is very much dangerous because bringing back the food by the den has got the negative consequences. We saw it 
earlier by the old hyena Juma Den when they brought some piece of meat and that attracted the avoca male to come and attack them. So I think uh, hyenas, the idea of bringing food back to the den is jeopardizing the safety, their own safety and the safety of their little ones. Because if they little look at that, that was uh, beautiful to see them opening and showing off those uh, very strong teeth with the canagials, which are responsible to pulverize the bones of these the big animals. Look at that. Look at those teeth. So those are those teeth. Look at that. So those are the strong teeth which crack all these bones all the time. So they can, they can feel the atmospheric pressure is now going down and they can feel that is the time is... Look at that. When these animals are grooming the new bones like this, cleaning the new bones and licking the skin and the hairs, it gives the little ones a lot of vitamin D and again improve the growth and they also then activate the urinary organs and the excretory organs for droppings by licking their little ones. So it helps with the blood circulation of the body as well. So, but this kind of behavior, you will see it as well, done by the antelopes after birth. They lick the placenta. When they're licking the placenta, is when they are taking the placenta and eating it. Eating the placenta helps them in order to kickstart the oxytocin. Oxytocin is a hormone which is responsible to produce milk. In other words, when they're eating that placenta, it helps them in order to prepare for the milk production. Look at that. This is a very nice grooming. <laughs> you can see the hyena is doing it very fast. So this is beautiful. The little one is very happy about it. You can see there. Look at that. Look at the tip of the tail for the other little one there with the black. They can easily communicate and spot each other. Also the other. Look at that. This is now becoming an amazing sighting. So they're going to miss their mom very soon as the moms must have to go and look for something to eat. A nice a sloping bag which makes them look like a giant. Look at that. Now they are coming is coming to greet us. <laughs> this is an amazing experience. Look at them just coming behind me. Wildlife is amazing. I hear something. I'm just suspecting it was a lion roar. I just hear something now. Apollo, the hyenas, I'm not too sure exactly in terms of the amount of hours. But what I can leave is that to the hyenas is different. Hyenas are opportunistic. And the hyenas, what they do is that when sleeping during the day at the den, if they pick up a strong smell, they must go and look for the food. They do sleep, yes, from the morning as well, just until the sunset. So it means it's not like the lions. Now when the sun is going down, hyenas must have to go out and look for something to eat. So especially now, oh, I've got them here. <laughs> they are just sniffing the vehicle here. When they are having the babies, they must have to eat a lot. Mm. Yeah, look at them here. This is amazing i can even smell them the little ones don't smell bad so it means it's only the adults who's got that very strong smell from the carcasses so these little ones are here so now uh, let's go back to the masai mara where isaac has got the lions on the move We are witnessing a greeting ceremony here. The little ones, 
they are all sniffing this adult male here and the male is also sniffing the genitals of these little ones it has been amazing maybe he's going to also check these other ones it's like he's doing kind of an inspection but you know it's normal hyenas their greeting ceremony is involving the erection of the genitals and the leaking of the genitals so the erection of the genitals by the hyenas is just like raising an arm uh, an arm is <laughs> very simple Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. This is amazing. So the little ones are also trying to groom the adult there. Uh, a pretty left here a few minutes ago. This one just came down now. So I am not too sure uh, if she's still around here because this one uh, looks like it's a he. So Pretty was nursing them, and after that, Pretty and uh, the other one left. And this one, he just came now. And when he came, they started running to the hole and they came out. Uh, Crystal, I didn't get the name of this very beautiful hyena male who is now playing with the cups. Look at that, just here behind me. So I've got to talk softly. So they're just here. Saka. Hey, Saka is sniffing. He's sniffing my shoe. Hey, hey, hey. Saka must not take my, my shoe now. Uh, I will have a problem with Saka now. <laughs> hey, Saka was sniffing my shoe. But now it's fine. <laughs> so I can see they're just here. You can see very much relaxed, not worried. So I didn't move at all when he was sniffing. This is an amazing experience. I have never been so close to the hyena before because he was just like <laughs> right at my shoe, right here next to me. <laughs> That was something else. So the little ones are still here as well. So they can hear very well because when they pick up the movement of the camera, they, they run a little bit and come back. They are all sniffing here. So these little ones, they start to eat meat when they are at least five months old. So now, uh, some of them maybe has started or the others are still depending on milk completely. So we are very much honored this afternoon. We've got these hyenas, amazing. So I can hear, you can hear that uh, hyena is at the den is, and is calling the other ones. I can hear that hyena doing I was not uh, afraid, but I was just worried that my shoe, because it has been walking a lot and stepping on things, he might uh, pick up some of the oils and some of the food, maybe the scent and grab it, but not as a sign of attack, just because it's normal. If you leave your shoe or something else, they will come and take it. It means mine is clean. When it's not clean, the highness are going to take it. Look, look now, look, look now. Something is happening there now. Again, the greeting ceremony is starting. So that hyena was at the door of the den doing something like... That is what he was doing there. I'm sure he was trying to call the other ones inside. So you can even see now he's looking at me when I'm doing that. Is what he was doing there. <laughs> the little ones are doing the, the practice, you see now. I'm sure they're just doing it for fun because they've been together for a long time. Look, that one as well 
is also doing, going to do the same. This is amazing. I think this is the best greeting ritual amongst all the animals in the bush. I don't think there's any other species which has got the most beautiful greeting as the hyenas. They just have their unique kind of greeting ceremony. So what these hyenas are doing like this, when the adults are marking the territory, this is what they do. They go to the grasses and they take grasses in between the legs and they do something called pasting. That is where you're going to see the two markings, the dark and the light whitish marking, which is there for demarcation purposes. That is how they mark. They mark make use of the anal glands as well as the droppings. You can see this one is trying to, to go there by the grasses. Look at what this one is doing. So if you look at that male earlier, when he was doing it, you could see that there was a protruding part of the excretory organ at the back where then he was doing this kind of marking from. And this is a beautiful Tuesday. Look at that. You can see the little ones also got a lot of ticks by the ears. You can see the ticks there. Those black dots you're seeing by the ears, those are the ticks. Oh, you can hear the bubbling casinos. The frogs that are calling, listen. <laughs> those are the bubbling casinos. They sell, they sell little water holes here nearby. So they are making it much more nice. So Minamu, the hyenas, if you can check here now, the ones that we are seeing with the spots, it means they're old. But if you can check, these hyenas were born somewhere last year. Some of them, it was uh, August, September. So the ones which are old, if you can calculate the month now, you will see is the ones that were born first. The ones who are inside the den that I saw a few days ago, they are still small. So it means when they are getting old is when the as the spot is starting to develop and that very nice dark brown color, chocolate color kind of is starting to disappear. So mostly you will see that as they are going towards four months, five months, you will see them now starting to dominate these beautiful colors. Unbelievable that this animal was just um, uh, completely chocolate without any spots uh, visible. But now you can see the spots and everything is there. So now let's uh, go back to Isaac with the lions on the move. So the male uh, hyenas sometimes can tend to become a threat to the cubs. That is why if you look at the body size of the female, it's way much bigger than the male because the female is there in order to defend these little ones. Sometimes males tend to feed uh, on their own, pup, uh, own cubs. So the female has got three times testosterone bigger than or uh, the uh, the males so it is a matriarchal system here he doesn't have oh look at what he's doing now yeah, yeah the hyenas the males they do play with cubs here very often but like I said, sometimes they can tend to be dangerous. Like here, they have been playing for a while now. Look at that. Uh, this is amazing. So this shows you that the matriarch of this den is very much strong. 
you can see now the male is not even injuring these little ones, these cubs. <laughs> this is amazing. So the hyenas are cannibalists. So hyenas, they do kill the other animals of the same species. And eat them. They feed on them. It is amazing to see these babies. <laughs> yeah, I just broke that stick for a toy, but now we can see. So these little ones are interested to play and, and run around here. You can see they are all now inviting him to chase them around. This is amazing. So this male, when he came back here, the first thing he did was to sniff the ground. He was sniffing all this ground. I'm sure he was getting the updates about the uh, other uh, clan members and how long were they here. So this male is not interested to go out to search for food. <laughs> Sarah, uh, this male uh, is babysitting for now, but when we got here, it was only the mothers. So the mothers left. He was not here. This one just got back now. So he was not here when we got here. So he just got back now, maybe from foraging somewhere very far. But uh, he's not, when looking at his uh, tummy, uh, I'm not seeing quite a lot of food in there. So this... Uh, Francis, um, the tension will be there and the female is going to come and defend. And like I said, it is up to the female for the males to be in the clan. So the possibilities of the female to, to fight the male and chase him out, they are very much high. Because she is the one who does even out the young males as they are maturing. So the female is the decision maker and if she doesn't want him anymore here, she'll take him out. And these female hyenas are interesting. If they don't want to mate with the responsible male members of the clan, they can go out and mate with the nomadic males. They do that, the female hyenas. So it's not like he's, he is guaranteed that because he is the male within the clan, he will be the one to mate with the matriarch. No, the matriarch can go out and seek for other males from outside. <laughs> you can see now they're grooming him. It is now his turn. So uh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> He's looking very much surprised when, <laughs> when they're cleaning him. Maybe they don't know how to do it. Maybe instead of cleaning, they're biting him. You will never know. You can see that it's not like they are welcome to do so. So they still have got to learn to groom as well. So now he's grooming himself. So I think by this time, these uh, little ones are out now because he is there. So these hyenas I have seen, they are so very much shy. <laughs> Look at these little ones here. So now, uh, let's uh, quickly uh, go back to one of my friends. Now, I can see now the stick, stick which was brought by that male, it is now a tool. They are all playing with that stick. Look at that now. 
<laughs> Maybe when he brought the stick, he has been asked by these little ones to bring it because they like to play with it. Look at that. So these two, they are playing with that stick. So in the bush, they are no toys. So they use sticks. Now this is so beautiful. So, but the, the, the adults, oh, as well, they do the same. Look, another one there is busy now also playing with the stick. You can see that it's like he's busy doing some teeth brushing with that little plant there. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> this is amazing. So these animals are just playing with ticks, ticks, and they're cleaning the teeth, and uh, they are just, the other ones, look, they're eating that one. So this must be helping them a lot to clean the teeth. So you can see they're inheriting this behavior from the adults, because adults are doing it very often. Uh, this is a fantastic late afternoon, I can promise you. I've never been to such a very beautiful hyena sighting like this afternoon. It has been a fantastic afternoon and these beautiful hyena cubs are bringing us to the sad time. It's so sad for me to say goodbye at the moment. It has been a great show and thank you very, very much for all your questions and comments. The show was so overloaded with good sightings of the lions in the Masai Mara, as well as the hyenas and other small and big interesting animals. Let's meet again tomorrow morning. Ndawiandu na.